In the heart of a serene village, nestled between lush mountains and crystal clear streams, lived a Zen master named Koji. He was known far and wide for his wisdom and peaceful demeanor. People from distant lands traveled to seek his guidance, and his teachings brought light to the darkest corners of their souls. One warm afternoon, as the sun cast a golden glow upon the village, a traveler arrived with heavy steps and a heavier heart. His name was Ryo, and his face was etched with frustration and resentment. He had journeyed far, burdened by the weight of toxic people who had poisoned his days with negativity and spite. Ryo approached Master Koji's humble abode, hoping to find a remedy for the poison that had seeped into his life. The master welcomed Ryo with a gentle smile and offered him a cup of tea. As they sat in silence, gazing upon a pond adorned with lotus flowers, Ryo finally spoke, pouring out his tales of woe. Master Koji, Ryo began, I am haunted by the toxic people who surround me. Their words and actions have clouded my mind and dimmed my spirit. How can I find peace amidst such chaos? The Zen master listened attentively, his eyes fixed on the lotus flowers swaying gracefully in the water. After a pause, he began to share a story. Once, there was a lotus seed that fell into the muddiest part of a pond. Master Koji began. Despite the darkness and the muck, the lotus seed began to grow. Its roots delved deep into the mud, finding nourishment amidst the filth. As it persevered, the lotus plant gradually pushed through the water's surface, greeted by the warmth of the sun. Ryo's brow furrowed in confusion. Master, what does the lotus seed's journey have to do with dealing with toxic people? Master Koji chuckled softly. Ah, yum traveler, the lotus teaches us a valuable lesson. Just as the lotus finds its way from the muddy waters to the sunlit sky, so too can we rise above the negativity around us. Here are six lessons from the lotus to help you deal with toxic people. 1. Rooted in truth. Much like the lotus's roots that anchor it in the mud, ground yourself in your truth. Let your values and integrity guide your actions. 2. Embrace transformation. The lotus transforms filth into beauty. Similarly, transform negativity into an opportunity for growth and learning. 3. Reflect purity. Just as the lotus remains unstained by the mud, let the toxic words of others slide off you. Reflect their negativity with your unwavering positivity. 4. Seek higher ground. The lotus reaches for the light above. Seek higher perspectives and rise above the petty conflicts that toxic people thrive on. 5. Practice detachment. Detach from their toxicity as the lotus releases water droplets. Let go of their influence over your emotions. 6. Cultivate compassion. The lotus's beauty reminds us to have compassion for all, including the toxic. Understand that their behavior stems from their own struggles. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Ryo felt a warmth in his heart that he had long forgotten. The wisdom of Master Koji's story had touched a chord within him, and he knew that he could face the toxic people in his life with newfound strength and understanding. With a heart full of gratitude, Ryo bid farewell to the Zen master, carrying the lessons of the lotus with him. He walked away from the village, his steps lighter and his spirit lifted, ready to transform the muddy waters of his life into a garden of blooming lotuses. And as he journeyed onward, the village pond seemed to shimmer with an extra touch of magic as if reflecting the wisdom of the lotus and the serenity of Master Koji's teachings.